No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, I'm Ryan with No Film School, and we're here with Jason from Black Magic. We're going to talk about the new version of Resolve, which came out this morning. Uh, it's Resolve 12.5. What's, what's new? A lot of things are new about Resolve 12.5. Uh, we have 250 new features and over 1,000 enhancements. Uh, there's a ton of changes for edit features, for color features. Um, everyone's going to be able to get something out of it. Essentially, we have a lot of new organizational tools, metadata-based tools. You can view clips with display names instead of camera names now. You can change clip colors. You can have markers with duration. Uh, you can add uh, keyword-based uh, metadata, or I should say tag-based keywords and metadata. You can view metadata uh, in the edit page now. We have all new types of uh, trim operations. We also have been making trim operations in Resolve for a long time, longer than before version 12 when we announced it as an NLE. So what we were able to do was reorganize all of our trim structures, all of our edit functions, and we were able to uh, remake them in the uh, edit, trim, timeline, and clip section. I should say we were able to reorganize them better. So now every editor will be able to hover over those four uh, menus right here and have access to all of their trim controls and see exactly everything we have to offer in terms of trimming, which is really important. Right, so to contextualize, for people who knew Resolve years ago when it was only color correction, it has become much more of a nonlinear editor in terms of the abilities to, to cut within the program itself, right? Yeah, it really is both. It's an uh, amazing color grading tool and it's also a complete nonlinear editor. What we did with 12.5 is we listened to all of the amazing user feedback that we got, and we were able to you know, open the hood, um, tighten things up, um, put things in different places, and add a few uh, really important new features that just make it even better. Um, we have an even more uh, improvements on the color side. We have new uh, Resolve FX, which is a list of drag and drop effects that you can drag onto any node in your color page. Um, they include film grain. We have presets for 8, 16, 35 millimeter film stocks. Um, different sliders to uh, personalize them for yourself. We have lens flares, uh, lens blurs, uh, light glows, all different types of effects. Additionally, we now have Fusion Connect, which is uh, one of the biggest parts of Resolve 12.5. You can now right click on any clip or number of clips in your timeline and select uh, Create Fusion Connect Clip. That will uh, open up your clip in Fusion, which is our visual effects, compositing, animation, and motion graphics software. And Fusion 8 is new on Mac and PC. We've had the uh, beta open for a while for Mac and PC. Fusion was originally designed only for Windows. We spent a long time rewriting it so we can get it on to the Macintosh platform. Um, now that it is, Fusion 8 is available on Mac. And similar to Resolve, we have an extremely powerful free version of it. Uh, that's available for download right now um, on Mac or PC. Is it round trip? Does it go right back the other way? It goes right back the other way. Um, all you need to do is render in Fusion. That's how Fusion renders. It just plays back the clip. And then you open Resolve back up and the clip is waiting for you. Not only is it waiting for you though, you can actually make multiple versions of the same clip and you can um, uh, refresh it if you need to or you can go back into Fusion to change anything. And it's a, it's a really good link back and forth. It's important to note that we strongly believe that everyone should edit um, and do their whole post-production pipeline based on whatever works for them and whatever situation they find themselves in. If you still want to use Resolve for just a color tool, if you want to use Resolve for uh, editing tools, if you want to use Resolve for everything, that's awesome. We'll take whatever you give us, we'll give you back whatever you want. Um, but we definitely have the ability uh, to do everything. And it certainly does have an advantage to have all of your editing in one tool and click one button and you're in the world's best color correction platform right there. Resolve 12.5 Studio uh, will come with any of our cinema cameras that are $2,000 or above. So if you get the uh, pocket cinema camera or the micro cinema camera, you'll have a copy of DaVinci Resolve, the free version, included in the box. So the original cinema camera, production 4K, Ursa, all Ursa mini models and all Ursa models will come with a dongle for DaVinci Resolve Studio in the box. And how much does the full version of Resolve 12.5 cost? The full version is $9.95. So you could buy a $2,000 camera and get a $1,000 piece of software included. Exactly. It's a good pitch. <laughs> we certainly like it, yeah. Thanks, Jason. Thanks.